You ready, Ambrose? Are you ready, little dude? Ambrose and I are headed to the pet store. We're gonna get him a long lead leash. And uh, originally I was gonna make one, but I was looking online where to get all the little bits for it, like the clasps and the rope. And it seemed to me that it'd be a comparable price <laughs> to just go get one at the pet store because that option came up as well. And I was like, hmm. It seemed like the one place where they had what I wanted and it would have been cheaper was Walmart But the drive would have been a lot longer and with gas being almost five dollars a gallon here for me And a longer lead is gonna be really nice because we're gonna do our first ever tent camping Experience with my little Ambrose and I'm so happy that he'll be able to wander a lot further because I think his leash is only like oh we're here. He took us the back way. <laughs> We're on the inside crew. Um. Hey, little man. All right. You ready? We're going in. We're going in. We're going in. Can you go in here for me? Look. Ooh, look how nice that is in there. Oh, yes. That is lovely. We're just going to go in there. We won't be in there long. I'm just going to close this up and I'm going to flip this up, flipping, 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 flipping. You're good little bro. You're good. I got you. Oh my goodness, they were gonna charge me full price. With tax, it would have been 27 something. Instead, it's 13 something. So, thank gosh that uh, I knew. I knew the inside scoop because it said I could do a pickup, a store pickup, and it would be that price. I let him know. I was like, look, I don't mind doing it online, and then this is the pickup, and he was like, no, it's cool, and he just put it in. Little bro, you did so good. You did so good. Welcome. Oh my goodness. I forgot your treat sadly, but you did so good, little man. Oh my goodness. Good job, buddy. Good job. I went with a 30 foot lead. I hope it's not too long, but I figure I can always tie it off if it's not, whereas I can never make like a shorter one grow. <laughs> Um, but I'm super stoked now that it's like I got such a good deal on it. I'm even more stoked because y'all know Dang do I love a good bargain and uh, The reason I take Ambrose with me on little trips like this and stuff is just to train him because Let's say we're doing trips in my car and there's no house or no home base to go to like I'm not gonna want to leave him in my car so having me go um so it's good to slowly introduce him to things and so I just take him on little trips okay buddy we're going in the store and I really try and talk with him and let him know what's going on you know even if he can't really understand English um, after reading these uh, animal communication books reading the books I read multiple books I also listened to audiobooks um, yeah really delved into it so I really do believe that they can understand a lot more than we give them credit for. So I just try to really let him know what's going on. Um, so he doesn't have to be like as freaked out. But I don't know, you know, because he's young. Maybe adult animals can understand more than uh, little young animals, just like human animals. <laughs> Although on that note, just a little reflection. Uh, I think children can understand a lot more than a lot of adults give them credit for, for sure. Even like, I can remember being a really young kid and I just felt like a little person. Like I felt like myself, but young. I feel like a lot of adults kind of lose uh, touch or remembrance of like how it actually felt to be young, but it's like you're, you're just a little person doing your thing. 
Doing a backyard camp might not be the most exciting thing in the world, but we happen to have a particularly big yard, so there's plenty of space. We actually once had a camp out here with multiple people camping out in the backyard, tents kind of all over the place. It's a really big, beautiful, wonderful space to camp, even if it is just in the backyard. And I thought it would be the perfect place to do our first tent camping adventure. Our first being me and my cat. Here I am just setting up a new tent. This actually isn't my tent. I borrowed this tent from my mom to do this video, but it was a very different tent than any tent I've ever put together before. And I'm the type of person that, I don't know, I kind of leave the instructions for the last resort. Like if I know how, to, if I can figure out how to put it together, whatever it is, or use whatever it is without the instructions, I tend to do that. And so it was almost like a little mind puzzle figuring this out granted it was pretty easy i'm sure everyone could do it but it still was enjoyable this is actually a different type of tent than i've ever put together before this is my mom's tent and it's very interesting but i'm not reading instructions or anything i'm just looking at it and assessing what looks like the best way to put it together we'll see if i'm right but this is what i did so because these are gold, I figured, oh, they must go with the gold bottoms. These two, and then once these are clasped on, it's like they don't move either way. So I thought, hmm, maybe the frame needs to pop up first, and then these clip on, because if you clip it onto the frame and it's in the right spot, like it's not gonna just slide. So I don't know, we'll see. So far so good, I think that was the best approach. I think that's how it's meant to be done. And then there's obviously another piece, so I'm gonna put that on, but dang, it's a really cool tent. If you're just outside and it's not gonna be like rainy or dewy or anything, or wet, like you can, it's almost like you're just indoor, outdoor. Like if there's bugs or mosquitoes, they're not gonna get you, but you're still like, can see everything. Now, if it were up to me, which I guess it is, <laughs> uh, but I would just leave it like this. Look at, oh my goodness, it's so nice where you could just lay there, uh, look up at the sky, at the stars if there are any, but I do know that it gets very wet here at night and it might get very wet. Bernie wants to say hello. <laughs> Hi, darling. I love you. All right, time to go get little man and see if that lead, just see what happens. By the way, as well, I don't think he's ever experienced the chickens. So he's in for a treat.
It's okay, little man. It's okay. 30 foot is definitely long as hell. <laughs> Probably could have done away with the 20 foot, but like I said, all right, I couldn't make it grow, and maybe someday this will come in handy, and I can always do what I said, tie it up, whatever. Ambrose and the chicken are having a chicken, you know the game chicken? <laughs> <laughs> but Ambrose is like, whoa, what the hell? And this chicken's like, bah, 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 get that, what is that? Get it away from me. <laughs> we have one really noisy chicken here. Her name's Hillary. I've never heard these guys make so much noise. <laughs> Wow, I've never seen them like this before. They're like all here. And all their energy and attention is directed at my little dude. Is this scary little bro? Are you all right? Are you all right little bro? So this company, Vatted, uh, wanted to send me this power station to try out and I accepted their offer <laughs> to test this out because I have a little 250 watt power station that I use to charge my laptop and just other things that I don't use on my big Jackery. And it takes a really long time to charge. Like in the wall, that chicken is being loud. Shh, can't you see I'm filming? <laughs> they almost stopped. Um, it takes like five or six hours, and when you're on the road and charging things, you know, that's a long time. Like, I, I'll try and charge it at the gym, I'll try and find a wall socket if I'm working out, or if I'm taking a shower somewhere, or if I'm going to a cafe, like, try and charge it there. But what really excited me about this was the ability to charge this in three and a half hours. Now, once I got the device, I realized that it's a little more involved than just the plug that they give you plugging it in and it charges in three and a half hours. Like, if I was just to plug this into the wall, it would take six hours, but it takes three and a half hours if you use the U, if you use the C port and the plug together. And I haven't tried that, so I don't know. I'll have to try it and then let y'all know how it goes. But I'm gonna try it for the first time today. And just first impressions, I've never used it. I don't know if it's like amazing. I don't know because I'm just using it for the first time, but I do like the look of it. And I like how it feels when you carry it. Like I'm really into the aesthetic. It's super cute. Had to put Ambrose on a on his shorter leash because he was whoa <laughs> I have ascended from the ethereal realms you see that oh, hot it's like a halo behind me that's cool um, I had to put Ambrose on a shorter leash because he was attacking the chickens which is really interesting because he's the smallest cat and the other cats don't attack the chickens um, I'm telling him no, put him on a shorter leash. I want to definitely not reinforce that behavior. Oh, my tea. I usually wouldn't drink black tea like this so late. Um, this is a wonderful pu'er. But I will tell you in a minute. Impressions on this little guy. I love how it looks. I love carrying it. 
it's awesome i like it much better than my ninja bat um i like the option i haven't done it yet but i'm assuming that i'll be able to do it fine they didn't provide a plug for this so it would have been real easy if i just had the plug and the plug um so for the fast charge i have to use my own plug which hopefully it's just a regular one that i can just plug into the wall and any one will work and if that's the case it's better that they didn't send me one because i already have one and no need to have wasted cords going into the landfill and stuff like that you know let's like dial down all the unnecessary crap <laughs> um but i will say my criticism all right i'm just gonna give it um this has an ac and a dc and i find it to be a little like not as easy because <laughs> the other ones that i'm used to there's no like separate button it just knows what to do the devices just know so i would prefer that to just be one button and then this i find is a little bit like I'm, i thought that was the on off switch at first and it's actually for the light <laughs> which is a teeny little light. I'll have to see what it does in the dark, but look at it. Hello, is that gonna work for me? <laughs> um, so overall, I'm pretty stoked to have it. Uh, the fast charge when I'm on the road is just gonna be super freaking awesome. I guess you can plug it into solar panels, but without like the plugs to go into the solar panels, I'm, I don't know about this stuff, so I don't know like how it would get plugged in. <laughs> um, so that's my only criticisms, but I'm happy to have it. And by the way, boiling that tea, it's at 79%, so it took a little over 20%, but I thought this was gonna go a whistle, and it didn't. So it's possible that I didn't notice when it came to a boil, and it wouldn't have been um, that long of a time I'm not sure or like that much used up because it boiled this much water with this hot plate and the reason I can use this this on here because this is a 600 watt right I wouldn't be able to use most hot plates um, but this is like a special little like they market it for camping uh, 500 watt <laughs> yes so I can use it on my little guy and be much more portable. Oh my goodness. Look what happened to my shoe. I definitely <laughs> did not think about that. Hello, Bernie. How are you? I'm about to talk about a cool little synchronicity that happened and I just want to say that I really really enjoy paying attention to little synchronicities that happen in my life. It makes life feel really special and almost like a video game. You know so many people are into playing these video games but it feels like we are really in the video game of life. The problem is is we become so regimented and we just think every day is the same day and we get bored. Board. but if we're able to look at it with a wonder and amazement and oh my goodness the synchronicity and get excited it really makes life more magical and enjoyable and playful like a fun game <laughs> I decided to put the top on so that me and Ambrose aren't super wet in the morning and my mind is blown you guys are you not seeing something like completely matching something else look at this yellow gray yellow and gray it's incredible they're completely matching and the company they have two different designs of this model like two different color schemes they sent me this one the synchronicities happening in my life are ridiculous This is Ambrose's first time in a tent. <laughs> please, please, dear Lord, do not claw the mesh. Oh my goodness. But let me show you, it's so cool in here. I really love how it's like open. Wow. And it goes out, you know? If you were really fancy, you could have like rugs out here. 
um, but it just feels very wonderful in here and open. I could even see being in a rainstorm in here and just being like, oh my goodness. Like, it would just be super cool. And there's like, it's pretty spacious. Like, there's room in here. We got our little bed. Ambrose, come here. Come here, buddy. Come here, little man. <laughs> Ambrose, come here. Ambrose, come here. Come here, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. He seems more interested in trying to get out than hanging out in here. So we'll see how that goes. I really would like to do more car camping as well as just camping camping like all different types of stuff so the more exposure he gets and the more we do this kind of stuff the more it'll just be normal you know um so it's really good that I feel really happy that we're starting off you know when he's still young because it's a lot you know it's a lot to process a lot of different stuff going on but being in the backyard for our first tent camping seems really good I just hope maybe when the chickens are put away um, he'll be more relaxed and when we actually are going to bed and sleeping in here uh, he'll just chill out that's my hope see that orange that is the Sun going down burr burr So I just want to mention that that lead that I got, I would actually prefer to have made my own and bought um, some more th like thin string as well as the little clasp for it to be smaller. Uh, that's made for a dog and I guess a bigger dog. So dang, dang it. <laughs> but I'm happy to have this for now and I would like something lighter, thinner. Uh, just better because when it's all wrapped up, it's like an actual pretty hefty thing And if we're gonna do camping and stuff where you want it to be lighter, I just don't think it's ideal It's dark <laughs> It's dinner time. Oh, yes, I'm hungry and I'm actually cheating a little bit because I'm leaving and I'm gonna go to dinner and see some live music when I was doing this video or when I planned to do this video this was not the plan but then it became the plan so I'm gonna take Ambrose inside I'm gonna go get ready for dinner and then once we get back I'm going to grab Ambrose and we're gonna come down and sleep in the tent one of the advantages of urban camping, I guess, is that you can leave and go have dinner. I have legit camped with people who have left the campsite, went to a restaurant, got dinner, and came back. I've never done that before, but I suppose I can. I suppose I'm kind of doing it right now. Here we had some delicious vegetarian sushi, as well as some agedashi tofu, uh, if I'm saying that right, and some delicious vegetables. It was so delicious. the tent is like all mesh on the inside 
and then I, Ambrose was kind of jumping on the outside of it and it freaked me out because I was like, oh, no Ambrose, don't do that. Hey, he's playing with this, the strap. And um, then I was talking to my mom, I was like, you know, I'm a little concerned that like, what if Ambrose, all he would have to do would claw the tent basically and it would rip it. And it's a new tent that my mom recently got. She like loves it and it was really expensive. So I don't really trust going in there with Ambrose and sleeping because he's rowdy right now. Like you saw, he was just playing with this. He'd be rowdy when we go in there. He might hear chickens making some noise and maybe he'll wake up before me or do something when I'm sleeping. Like, I just don't know. And I don't trust, uh, I just don't want to ruin my mom's tent. So I think I have failed this video. I feel like I failed us today, but I don't think we're gonna be camping. And I don't want to go camping there by myself because I don't want to leave this little munchkin all by himself. Um, he was waiting for me. He was waiting for me to get back. <laughs> you were waiting for me. So I have failed. But I promise that next time we go camping, I'll have a shittier tent <laughs> that Ambrose can stay in and we will not fail. So. I hope this was an enjoyable video for, video for you. I don't know. I'm super sorry. Um, what else can I say? Uh, thanks for watching and much better camping with Ambrose the next time that it happens. See you next time.